Now add contacts to our list. I've stretched my screen so that it can pick up all the different areas that I need to show you. One of the ways of searching for contacts is by using the field here just underneath our navigation icons and at the moment it tells me to find someone and you can search by either a name, an email address or a Skype name and location. So these may be people within your own organisation or they can be external people. I'm just going to click into there and for example let's see if we can find Bill Gates. Now first of all Bill Gates will come back with no matches because it's actually looking in my contacts field here. But I'm going to click onto the other tab and go onto the Skype directory. Now this is searching both Bit Skype for Business and personal Skype as well. And I can see that there's many entries come back. Some of those are um, in America, some are in other parts of the world. And down the bottom it's telling me it's found too many matches to show them all, so it wants me to refine my search. Let's say, for example, I'm looking for a Bill Gates in China. So next to his name I'm just going to put the space and then the words in China. And this is now searching and it's narrowed down my search to just showing those in China but again down at the bottom there are too many matches so I would need to refine it more, maybe play it, put in a place name in within China. Let's say I'm looking for a Bill Gates in London so I'm going to change China to London and now it's narrowed down the search and I can see at the bottom I have no warnings to tell me that I need to refine that more. Some of the entries will have photos next to them some will not. And if you want to add somebody, I'm just going to choose one of these on here and right mouse click. I can see that I can either add to the favourites or add to the contacts list or actually see their contact card. I'm not going to add them at the moment. That's somebody I don't know, so it would be inappropriate me to um, just add a stranger straight onto there. To come out of the searching, you go towards the right hand side and click onto the cross symbol. Now underneath that symbol there is another icon um, which is a person with a plus sign and I'm going to click onto that and this is another way of searching for contacts. You can either search for them in your own organisation and these will load up for you or somebody external and when you go onto the not in my organisation for external you'll see that you can narrow this down to either Skype for business or Skype or other. So that's another way that you can um, search for new contacts. When you have your new contacts, it's up to you how you display them. So at the moment, I don't have any folders. I just have other contacts. It could be that you'd like to create some groups such as team or that it's an external participant group so that it's very easy to find people. And you can also add people into the favourites. To create a new group, again, we click onto the person with the plus sign and create a new group. And I can see now that I have a new group over here and I'm just going to rename it. You can either type straight over it. I'm going to call this the proposal group. Maybe it's a group of us that get together to discuss a project proposal that's ongoing and hit enter. And that's now my new group. So your contacts you can move around. If I right mouse click on my contact here, I can see that further down this list here I have move contact to and I could put my contact into the proposal group. This is also where you can remove a contact from a group or actually remove them from a contacts list. Now if you no longer want a group then you can do a right mouse click on the group name and you can see you have delete group. Now the contacts that you have showing in your list will also then show you their own presence. So I can see that my contact here has now changed to um, the red symbol which means that they are busy and I'm unable to contact them. It also shows me the different ways that I can interact with this particular contact. So I can see that I have an icon there to send an instant message. I could telephone my contact using a Skype call or I could use video call. I could see my contacts contact card and I also have more options on the end where I could for example go to straight sending an email message or scheduling a meeting and this will um, enable me to do it very quickly rather than going to Outlook 
opening up a new email message, typing in the uh, name of my contact and sending. It will do the first few stages in one go for me.